I've been in and around Inglewood pretty much all of my life in some form or fashion because I always had cousins lived in Inglewood, even when I didn't live in Inglewood. My people actually uh, bought their house in Inglewood in uh, 71. So when they bought the house here, uh, we were the only uh, black people on the block. But needless to say, by 72, <laughs> all the white people had moved. <laughs> so, uh, how old when I took up music? Well, I started first playing uh, bass when I was like seven or eight. I used to take the L down to the line of Healy, and oddly enough, I took up bass because, you know, WLS was playing all the pretty much what we would call white rock. Mm. But I liked the, the Beatles, I actually liked the Beatles, I liked the song, so I wanted a Beatle bass like Paul McCarthy. The music was in the community, you know, of course the churches, the gospel churches, and then we had a radio, we had WVON that not only played whatever hip hop, they played jazz, they would play jazz on Sundays, they would play gospel, you know, and they would play R&B. And then that was the time FM, FM came into being <clears throat> and I always had a boom box. So I always played uh, FM stuff, which was more rock and long form. I started playing like uh, percussion and that, that was mainly playing with little basement rock bands. We would go up north and play around Lincoln Park and have little gigs, you know. I really started, I picked up saxophone when I was graduating high school. Um, some guys moved on my block. They were from the BAG organization, Black Artist Group from St. Louis. And they moved on our block. And um, pretty much they played all the time. And one night this guy came up from St. Um, Southern Illinois. His name was Guido Sinclair. He was from, yeah, so uh, he was from Champaign. Anyway, Guido sound just like Bird, just like Charlie Parker, that was his man. And he had all the other things that go along with that. But I was laying in my bed and I heard this cat play. I said, that's me. I had the epiphany, I got up the next day, I went and bought my saxophone, I bought a clarinet and I bought a flute within a week. Within two weeks, I was playing instruments because I had to get them repaired, and that's how I got into the, that's how I got into what we would call jazz, or improvised music, or spontaneously composed music, or great black music, whatever you want to call it. So by that time, my people said, uh, my grandfather said, "Well, you can play music all you want, but you're not gonna play it in my house." <laughs> so I would go to the park. Every day. This happened to be the summer. I, would, I graduated. I would go every day, every day in practice. So a guy named James Johnson, he came up to me, he said, you need to be in the AACM School of Music. I said, the AACM School of Music? He said, yeah. I said, okay, where is it? So I think my first lesson was Threadgill, Roscoe, and he was either Chico or German, a combination of them three. And they had me trying to play a hot house. Do, 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 bird, a bird tune, of course, a bird. <laughs> and I, you know, alto was primary, my primary instrument. And that's how I became a member of the ACM, started doing gigs with the ACM, started doing gigs outside the ACM, because my first paid gig was a gospel performance, out of town, actually. So as things turned out, and ha as my career turned out, I'm in a, certain position where I can help people uh, economically, I can mentor them uh, career-wise. So that was all, so it just came out of my own experience, you know, to give back. A good musical background benefits society. I think that's what we have too little of when they stop music in schools and um, stop m teaching music as a fundamental kind of uh, development in, in people's growth or a certain element of people's growth. 
because everyone can play music. I'm a firm believer of that, you know, it's just some people are not going to be professionals, of course, but it does help enrich the, the, the soul because it is spiritual and that's another thing that we tend to leave, leave out that the music is spiritual. So I have to watch what I put out because I want positive coming back, you know, so I, I realize that the karma is that you know, the situation that what you put out is what you get back. I like alto, you know, I, I, I love alto, but you know, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person that I like to challenge. Alto is a challenge for me. Tenor is easy. B flats horns are easy for me, but I like them least. Because <laughs> the music is an exploration of yourself. So the more you delve into who you are, the more it will come out in your music. You won't sound like this person or that person or that person. You will sound like you. And so, and it's cool to learn all the tricks and running up and down the horn and sounding like this person, sounding like that person. But at the same time, uh, you'll get lost in that because you haven't discovered who, who you are. And that's the key. That's, that is the key. And, that's where the greatness lies, and a lot of cats are missing, missing that. That's what we need more of, and I think that's where the music will really push itself and, and create more into, and morph into some other things. I knew when I started this, I said, it's going to take me 20 years. You know, we're just at the point, and we're still not known the way we should be known. But I knew it was going to take us 20 years to get through the door. At least we knocking at the door, you know. So I always encourage cats, you, you, when you step on the stage, you have to, your physical appearance is important as well. Along with your, with your body uh, movement and what you do. Because, you know, you sit up here and play like this all night. In the black community, you're not going to move nobody. <laughs> You're not gonna move Inglewood, baby. <laughs> so I mean, and 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 you have to know when to do that, you know, because there's certain things I would do here that I won't do there. Certain things I'll do there, and then sometimes I'll bring there to here, and you have to know when to do that. With the young cats, I tell them this: it's about the concepts of the music that's really important, you know that I, you know, I had to figure out and people helped me figure it out. People gave me clues as to what to look for in, in the concept, but, because all the beat is the same. You know, as James Brown said, same beat. It's just some are divided into a quarter, some are sixteenths, the whole nine yards, but it's really all related. All rhythms are related. All music is related. Mm -hmm.